guys welcome to exploring with jimmy we got a teacup i'll show you guys Look at that a perfect teacup plus in the same hole i found the matching saucer And that, my friends, is Canadian Depression Glass. I believe it was handed out in gas stations and stuff. So, but as far as I could tell, there's no chips or cracks or anything. They got it, and they didn't need it, so they tossed it. That's perfect. So then I found uh, another odd bottle. Which I'm not sure of. Um, looks like it's got, it looks like it's consumer's glass, but it's got the triangle and then there's a two. So it's another odd shaped glass bottle. Now more, uh, more Javix. Uh, there's another one. Right here, my friends. Just pulled this out of the ground. Now, last week, I found one, the brass one, but it was lipstick. So this one looks like it's got the same pattern. I didn't catch that. See that? So, I imagine this is a perfume sample. You don't find many of these. Uh, I lost my marble. I'm losing my marbles. This one here was nice. It was a nice aqua piece. But unfortunately, it's broken. So it stays here. But, uh, what else was there? I found a um, 19, judging by the, uh, uh, here, it's broken, so I'm going to say that's the 1930s, Inkwell, that's not very old, most like it's from Consumer's Glass, if it was the 1950s it would have a um, maker's mark on it, like the, the company name. And this is another odd one. This one here is like there's no, uh, all it's got is eight, two, three, so he looks like a five. So it's machine made, but then again, there's the uh, screw top. He's broken. So I'm thinking that's early. So that's coming home to be washed. Found all kinds of uh, glue bottles today. Found another uh, crown jar lid. It's in perfect shape. It's an early one as well. Found a bottle, found a crown jar, but it's uh, 
It was a, it would have been a nice one, but it was broken. This is an early dropper. Uh, it's like 19, well, 1950s, 1960s. This whiskey bottle I found still has the, uh, okay, this, okay, this one has V1452. So, this was Dominion Glass, and the V stands for victory. So this was between 1945 and I think 1951. And it still has the uh, foil on here. So I'm gonna take that home, wash it up, and I know I can see Canada on top. It's a cork top, but it's not very old. And fairly new uh, nail polish. It's, I don't know, there's no, nothing in it. What is, is that the color? It still has the color. Um, this is, oh, it's hard to read. Looks like Revlon something dash whole bunch. I don't know. It's kind of an odd bottle. Yeah, I think that's about it, folks. So please click like. Oh, one more. Tea strainer. <laughs> That's kind of neat. So, yeah, I thought the best thing of this dig was the cup and saucer. So, that's awesome. Anyways, guys, please click like, subscribe, and we'll talk to you again. Bye for now.